Welcome back to the channel. Well, in a recent video, which I'll link above, I took a look at a program that allowed you to bring mixed reality portals for your hands into VR. Quite useful that you can use your hands and see where they're reaching. But there were some limitations to this program. And I contacted the author of the software in Japan and made some suggestions which I'm happy to say he has implemented. And I'm going to tell you about those in this video. The program is available free at a website. I'll link it in the show notes. He asked for about a 300 yen or about $2.10 donation to help support his development. And I encourage you to do that if you're going to download it. It runs as a layer in Steam VR, although he hasn't been able to get it into the Steam store yet. You'll have to download it and execute it separately to run as a layer on top of Steam VR. You'll also need a virtual desktop to create the chroma key effect that allows the transparency to show portals to the real world in your VR environment. Now, this is beta software, so it's not for the faint of heart, but it does work very well. I found it to be fairly stable, and it's immensely useful to be able to see the real world. And I think the changes he's made has made it even better. So let's take a look at those now. The settings overlay has improved uh, from its previous version. Of course, clicking the icon in the console opens that up. You can select the matching color that you set in the virtual desktop. It defaults to 255 red, 255 blue, this pink color. Uh, you can set the size of each of the two, the left and right the portals. You can turn them on and off with a click there. You can also bind it to a key on your joystick or your controller. This is the one I asked for. You can see I'll use the left controller there. You click it to select it. And when you uh, select it, it'll set that. And after that, you can turn it on and off with that. He's also added the ability to not only resize each, but to move each of the uh, squares in the uh, X, Y, and Z coordinates. So you can move them off the hands in a more convenient location. Sometimes moving it a little bit to the right and up, you can make it so that it, as you stick your hand out when you're hand tracking, that your finger would be in the center. And you can kind of uh, pan your hand up and find the autopilot control or keyboard or whatever you're looking for. And then you can grab that. See, as I'm sticking my finger out now, here uh, you can see that uh, I can track that so that it stays where I want it. So that gives you some flexibility. Of course, sound and haptics was there, but now it has snapped awake. And I'll explain that in a minute. And there's also a, a setting for frame, frames there. Now, you can see as I adjust the color here of the blue, I can change the color. And you notice the little test square also becomes opaque. Okay, there's the alpha value. You can change that. Of course, 255 is, is totally uh, uh, filled, which makes it clear if it matches the color. So that, that's the basic changes, but uh, it's pretty powerful what it can do. And I'll show you how this uh, Snap the Wake works here in just a moment. Now here in Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, you notice the, uh, like the praying type hands, folded hands in front is the way you can turn it on and off when hand tracking. And then it tracks your hands. Now I can turn either of the uh, circles on and off using the joystick button that I've assigned there. In this case, the left aileron and right aileron trim button. Now you can see the mouse still works just fine when this is engaged. So you still can use that. You can stick up with your stick your hands out and get whatever you want to uh, set. You can see your controls. When you want to dismiss both uh, both circles at the same time, you can just put your hands up in front of your face in that uh, folded hands praying type formation, and uh, they both go away. And you can bring them back by doing the same gesture. Now, shaking the hands is the snap to wake that we were talking about. Uh, having a little trouble, finally got that one. Once you get the motion down, it's pretty simple. Shake and it'll toggle each individual hand on and off. Extremely useful because you can keep one hand on the controls and, and uh, open the portal on the hand that you want to use to manipulate something in the real world. Now, just to demo how the uh, control stick operation works, I'm going to use the aileron trim. I'll push it uh, uh, left first, and you can see the left one toggled open and closed. Now the right. So you can see how easily that works. And you can program those to eat any of the buttons on your joystick or controller. 
By the way, that uh, praying motion that was used to bring this, uh, uh, to open the bo the uh, circles up and close them, uh, one of the my viewers who had spent time in Japan explained this is common. Now, the author of the software, in his demo video, he shows a, a gamer using it to uh, see his food, to get his food while he's in virtual reality. And uh, I found out that the Japanese, this is a very common gesture uh, before they eat to bring their hands up in front, bow their head slightly before they eat. And uh, that's the reason, I guess, that he picked that gesture. Uh, but uh, I do like having a single hand ability. Uh, it makes it a little more useful. Now, I think this is a great software for probably more than just gaming and simulators and racing. It probably is good for other games. And if you're using Steam VR, it's pretty easy to introduce this. And I think it's useful, especially now with your controller that you can turn it on and off on each hand. Uh, you can assign a button to do that. If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you'd uh, give me a like. Share it with your friends. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and I love your comments. Let me know what you'd like to see me look into. I love uh, tips I get from my viewers who give me ideas of things I might look into and do a video on. I do hope to do a video tutorial on how to get uh, the uh, reality mixer working, and I hope to do that in the next week or so. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon on another one of my videos. Have a nice day.